This is Chris and Ben, and we make up the wormholes, and you're listening to Shutter 16. Hey, Chris, this is Chris with Shutter 16. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. We do appreciate it. No problem at all. Appreciate you reaching out. Absolutely. Um, first off, why don't you kind of start out by just telling us a little bit about how the wormholes first got started? Sure. Um, and actually, my uh, the other and um, I actually played. I did some solo electronic music and played in a in a project called Hilo uh, with my younger brother, and um, kind of just we, it was a very regional thing. We just played around Charlotte here and there, and. Um, and then uh, I got the opportunity came to, to play drums uh, with the wormholes, and that's how I got involved. Now, do you have any kind of formal musical training? Or are you self-taught? Uh, I've been I've been a musician the majority of my life. Um, I mean, as far as like all, all through sc- uh, grade school, I played I played violin growing up and piano. Okay. Played uh, baritone and more years. Okay, so it's definitely like a visual show right along with with the music. Correct. Awesome. Now, um, what are you guys working on right now? I know your last record came out um, not quite a year ago, May last year, Cosmic Propaganda. Um, Are you currently working on a follow-up to that? So right now we're actually uh, in the midst of finalizing, and actually this is really good timing that this reached. You reached out because we're about to announce um, our our spring tour, which will take us uh, starts mid March and takes us all the way up through uh, the beginning of May. Okay. So, um, that's the big thing right now, and we um, last year we toured previous to the record release, and then we released the record and never actually properly toured on it. So. Okay. Yeah, we're, st- we're still we're still of the mind that we're supporting the record for this tour, um, so uh, that's that's kind of our, our main focus right now. But we are in the we are in the studio um, working on new new music as well. So actually, uh, this tour will you'll hear some you know some of these shows you'll hear some various songs that will be uh, will be released on the next record. Okay, cool. So tour support cosmic propaganda, but you're gonna sneak peek some new stuff um, for those who come out to see the shows. Exactly. Awesome. Now, what about um, the tour you mentioned um, starting in March through May? But you have a couple dates coming up before then uh, locally as well, right? Yeah, actually, uh, next week we're supporting Spafford at the Visualite Theater. So that's uh, Tuesday the 12th. Okay, cool. Next Charlotte show. And then um, then following that, the next date in Charlotte is March 29th at Snug Harbor. Okay, so we've got a couple chances to see you um, before the tour kicks off in full. Correct. Absolutely great. Now, what about the songwriting for you guys? Um, being that it's just the two of you, do you work together on it? How does that kind of work? Yeah, um, it's an interesting approach, uh, and um, it's kind of shifted over the years. But more more so recently with the newer material, um, it is very much a collaborative effort, but it's, it's, it's kind of comes in stages we'll we'll work on a like for instance the newest um track that we've been working on started with with just me kind of playing with a musical idea um purely electronically and kind of building out a track um through software and then sending that idea to ben who then takes that ingests it reworks it um it comes up with vocal melodies and lyrics that um influence restructuring the song itself and then once we kind of land on that, then we figure out, okay, well, from all of these electronic um, this electronic sounds that we're using, what are we going to now bring as far as the live aspect comes to it? So what parts will be covered by guitar? What parts will be covered by live drums? What will we physically perform? And so it kind of manifests itself in, a, in, in that way. It's just kind of a back and forth until we land on something that, we're, that we feel uh, is right for whatever track we're, we're working on. Right, because with just the two of you uh, performing out live and you've got such, you know, layering of sounds and things that you can do in the studio and you can't always reproduce that um, for the live show. For sure, and a, and a big part of it now is with us coming down into this two-man world is we are we are uh, leaning more into uh, towards uh, live looping. So a lot of the sounds you hear you kind of build in front of you and loop them, and then kind of move on and play and play a different instrument. So Ben Ben may be, you know, looping a guitar riff that you hear in the song, and then he'll turn around, set it down, and and take over and play synth. 
and we'll kind of build around that. So it's it's definitely brought a, a pretty interesting approach to the performance, trying to kind of capture what we make in the studio, but still not sit up here and, and just press play for you. We like we, we still want to build out these tracks organically and have a have a, a performance and that, that people can physically see. Right. And you mentioned, you know, Ben's art and everything kind of being incorporated into the live show. Um, how does that kind of work? Do you guys sit down and he kind of decides, well, you know, I think this would be good with this track and how we're gonna, how you're going to do it. Is it all planned out ahead of time, kind of a whole production scheme before you go out there? Yeah. So, I mean, as far as the, the art is like our, our approach now has been like, we, we've actually designed, um, we designed blacklight reactive backdrops. And by we, I mean, Ben, Ben designs, uh, blacklight reactive backdrops that we put behind us and light. And then now we've brought in, we've got a whole new lighting rig that we'll be premiering at this tour that kind of coincides. It's sound reactive. And so it, it, it blends with the music. So yeah, a lot of thought is, is put in to kind of how, how this is, is visually perceived, but, um, our next step is also to to really work in in some actual some some visual art that will be like projected. That's not that's not really a, like a that's not a that's not any, like firm right now. Right. <laughs> idea that we've been working through, and we have a lot of ideas, but we've kind of we're kind of moving in in a um, we're getting there, but we're we're not there yet. Okay. Well, it makes it very cool for the fans and the people who come out to see the show because um, it's not just going and listening to your favorite band play. It's more of a whole kind of immersive experience. Exactly. And, and it kind of lends itself to, to why we're called the wormholes. Like the idea is to transport you to kind of just it, for just that moment, like all that matters is that moment. And it, it should be captivating and, and kind of immersive in a way that kind of just makes you forget about anything else except for where you are in the present moment. Very cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to update us on what you guys have going on. And please keep us informed, you know, with new tour plans and new music along the way. Um, we'd sure love to hear it when it comes out. Absolutely. We really appreciate you reaching out. No problem at all.